So let's go ahead and add the contents of the forensic image as an evidence item. So we just choose first item on the file menu. And of course now the source here will be our image file. So I hope it remembers our location. So the file that we just created is this EO1. Simply click finish and it'll let you uh, see the results. To calculate and save hash values of files that are present in FTK Imager view, for example, on this drive, I have a subfolder under the root and there's a list of files which you can actually preview. This is a PNG image, so you can see that there is a image display in FTK Imager, which is very friendly format. But if you go back to the list right here, if you'd like to compute hash values of individual files, FTK Imager does not have its own storage. So the only option for you would be uh, to select files, and you can press Control down to select multiple files if you'd like, and then right click and uh, export file hash list. So what this is going to do is going to ask us for the name of the file and it'll produce CSV format. So for example, here I'll say um, hash values and we'll see what this generates for us. So we go here, this is a CSV file. I'll try opening it with uh, LibreOffice that I have on this machine. Offers me to export CSV. I just click OK on this dialog box. And you see that uh, the individual files with their file names and paths do include both MD5 and SHA-1 uh, secure hash algorithm and message digest 5 uh, calculations. And so you can store this anytime you want uh, and preserve it for your records and for your reports. Another option for you that exists here to calculate and save hash values is to go to the folder level in the tree uh, view and export the same thing. You, if you want to export file uh, hash list, this time we'll try the same file and replace it and open it again in our external viewer. Right here that you see that it exported the hash signatures of all of these files uh, inside uh, this specific folder. So you can either go at individual file level, you can even select multiple files if you want by clicking on them, and the second option for you is to export the entire folder. If this folder did contain other subfolders, it would then go ahead and generate other uh, I mean, generate uh, the hash values for all the subfolders included there. Let me close this now and let's go back to our handout. So now you know how to calculate and save hash values um, in FTK Imager. And another option that FTK Imager uh, lets us do is that we can right click and export files. So we can basically, uh, besides just exporting the list with hash values, we can export the actual files. If you click this, it'll ask you to browse for the folder and it'll just export the files. Uh, why would you do this? You would want to be able to examine the files using external viewers. Maybe you have other forensic software. Maybe you want to just uh, be, be able to open certain files in your web browser or some other applications to be able to uh, recreate the actual view that the user would have if they were using the original software uh, that were producing these files and so on. So there may be uh, a lot of different reason, reasons, uh, as you can imagine, uh, to, to use files outside of the original image.
outside of the scope of FTK Imager. So you can see that this is a powerful tool. And all of this is also available for deleted files and folders. So if it uh, identifies any, any deleted items and they're still recoverable, FTK Imager will proceed to recover these items for you. Create hashes of files to check the integrity of the data. How would you verify the integrity of a forensic image added as, a, as evidence item in FTK Imager? What we are being asked to do here is to essentially be able to reproduce the verification hashes that were originally calculated during the acquisition process. So how would you be able to verify this image? And the approach is that you go to the level of the actual image name right here and you say verify drive image. Now it takes a little bit of time because this image uh, needs to be, uh, its, its hash is recalculated right now. See that it comes back with the same verification dialog box we have seen at the, at the end of our acquisition process. And it still goes ahead and retrieves the computed hashes during the, uh, the acquisition, stored verification hash, which is actually stored in this image itself and also the report hash that it just recalculated uh, seconds ago. Okay, so this way uh, you can always re-verify re your image and then uh, physically uh, uh, compare it to the previous verification results. Are integrity checks logged by FTK Imager? Well, if you take a look at this uh, file one more time, I just opened it. You see that um, the first time we acquired the drive, then immediately FTK Imager proceeded to verify the results of the acquisition. And uh, here now, this is uh, my uh, final check for integrity and it uh, and and this verification results were appended to this file so if you do this within ftk imager and it finds this uh, verification results file dot text right next to the uh, original image it'll append uh, next next verification results to this file using it uh, like a log file if you delete this file it will not recreate the file. So just uh, normally, uh, if the images were acquired by FTK Imager, uh, you probably would want to keep these two files in your forensic folder uh, together. 